What is going on Java Minecraft players that play with Zaleth Launcher? Today I'm going to show you the Red Magic 11 Pro and why I'm able to see so much FPS when I play Java Minecraft on the go. But first, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to play Java Minecraft with Zaleth Launcher on your phone because I'd like to reach 3,000 subscribers or more before March of 2026. Also check out the entire playlist as I have many videos covering everything you need to know about this amazing launcher to play Java Minecraft on the go. So that is right. We are going to be doing an awesome test with this phone right here, which is the Red Magic 11 Pro. This one is the 16 gigabyte model. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM and it's actually onboard RAM, RAM compared to 16 gigabytes plus four gigabytes of virtual RAM that some people like to think that they have extra RAM with. And as you can see here, I'm able to allocate eight gigabytes or more of RAM because my device can do so. So the other thing is that we are going to be using these settings right here. I'm going to use 100% resolution scale and I'm going to use not the system Vulcan driver, but enable sustained performance. If you watched my very first video, I'm also turning off the turnip driver, which is not going to be used anyways. I told you guys you need to use mobile glues. There's no rhyme reason or any special setting or configuration inside of mobile glues that you need to do really to get the renderer to do its job. The only thing I told you guys to do is turn on these two toggles right here and enable an angle is only for certain devices and it's only for certain devices that also have graphical glitches with 1.2111. Okay, so there's mobile glue set up and ready to go. I'm gonna close out of everything else. Also, I'm going to download my mod pack from Modrinth, which is called OptiMobile. It's a mod pack that's already optimized and ready to go. And I'm also gonna use the latest version as of today, which is 121.11. And I'm going to just set the render distance so that you can see everything in real time and set it to eight chunks only. And I'm only using eight chunks just because there are some people that don't understand how the performances work with phones and how I'm able to get 500 plus FPS on phones. It's all to do with the chipset. It's like your computer. Your computer also determines how much performance you can get out of playing any video game. Now the calculations that you see on screen for Java Minecraft at least are a lot different than what you would see on like a typical game. Okay, I'm telling you this because a typical game, you're not going to be able to see usually the big, you know, performance increases and everything like that. I'm going to use fancy graphics for the clouds and everything. And the big thing about the calculations with Java Minecraft is the render itself. That's the calculations on the back end of everything that's going on. Google it if you want to learn a little bit more is showing larger FPS than your actual frame rates of your screen. I'm also only using 60 hertz, okay? You want to see that? There's my 60 hertz. I only use 60 hertz because I use only 60 FPS. Now, as you can see here, some people are going to be like, there's no way you're getting that much FPS. And there's a lot of them. There's a lot of people that say that. And it's quite funny to see that kind of, you know, comment on my channel or on my TikTok and all that kind of stuff. Because, yeah, there's no manipulation here. I'm still talking. I'm still you know, showing you everything in real time. I'm barely gonna do any video edits to this video as well to explain to you that this is a calculation done with the actual sodium on this mod pack that is helping with boosting this performance. Now the renderer itself, to explain what the renderer is doing, because Java Minecraft is using OpenGL on PC that is, the renderer is converting that OpenGL driver or that OpenGL itself to actually be compatible with Android because Android uses something called OpenGLES. And OpenGLES is something of its own, basically API for OpenGL to actually work on Android. And there's a lot of other things that do that as well on the backside of you know, Android, like games and all that kind of stuff. So like, if you ever coded a game or ever tried to attempt to code a game, you might know more of what I'm talking about. But people that don't understand that, <clears throat> obviously don't understand what this renderer does and what it does to help with getting this kind of FPS on this device. And my device isn't getting that hot at all. 
Like this device has an active cooling fan. It also has that liquid cooling on the battery. And that's all I think that liquid cooling is there for is to help with the battery. And obviously I'm not really doing too much right now. I'm just kind of running around. And the different areas that you get into that have more chunks loading in and everything like that, yes, the FPS is going to drop a bit, but I'm still getting above the FPS counts that I would be usually getting. And that is just because the actual mod pack that I put together is doing its job with helping with getting these stable performances. Now, I locked the FPS in that mod pack specifically to 60 fps because that mod pack again is something that i created with a phone and a lot of phones in this community at least that like to play java minecraft that is don't have screens that go above 60 hertz if you sync your refresh rate to the refresh rate of your screen you're going to notice less you know random stuttering random um, screen tearing as well and those random jits what is called jitters on the screen like this is a lot of graphics right here and i'm still only at eight render distance okay there's eight chunks so this is a lot and as you can see i'm getting 300 fps now and that's because there is a lot of stuff going on right here. I wanted to get over to this area because I saw this and I was like, oh wow, this is a good spot to actually explain this a bit. And again, this is something that people don't understand. <laughs> it's that, yeah, even on a PC, you can get a decent amount of frames if you set things up properly. And if you use the right JRE, which is the Java runtime, um, people have said that the Java Runtime 25 has helped with performance a lot and also increasing your RAM also helps with rendering graphics on the back end. Now, I know I set 8 gigabytes of RAM and that could be bad in some cases because that can, you know, start causing my device to slow down a lot too. And that will, you know, chew through the threading processes going on in the background on the phone and everything as well. And I should probably only really set that if I'm using like large mod packs, mostly for boot times and all that kind of stuff. But that's something that I just like to do just to show people like, hey, this does help as well. But if I go into my settings, go to options, go to video settings, I'm going to get a little bit more performance stabilization, not FPS performance okay a lot of the kids like to say oh i'm getting so much fps bro and it's it's a completely different thing okay it's yeah you're getting a whole bunch of fps but that doesn't mean anything that means that well i'm not gonna say it doesn't mean anything that just means that your device is doing a good job at working but my device right now is stabilizing at the 60 fps because i locked it ow i just got impaled by a drown what the flip <laughs> <laughs> what's the chances of that just randomly happening with a trident but anyways so yeah i'm getting stable fps counts now and i'm not getting those big frame dips remember how i was getting like a huge frame drop of like 200 plus fps earlier now i'm getting 60 fps stable with my 60 fps that i've locked this to but the big thing that i've noted in the past too is that let's say i change this to 120 hertz a lot of people like 120 fps 120 hertz with 120 fps right let's do that now is my device doing something funky i don't know what's going on here there we go let's go to options video settings and since i know that my device was stabilizing above 120 hertz if i set this to 120 hertz yes it gives me a little bit more of a smoother gameplay because 120 hertz is a nice or 120 fps that is is a nice frame rate and some people can notice a difference, some people don't. A lot of people don't really notice a huge difference with 120 hertz over 60 hertz, especially on smaller screens. On my 65 inch TV, 120 hertz, I can see it clearly as day. On a 32 inch TV, not really many 32 inch TVs I don't think out there, or maybe there are now, I don't know. But back in my day, anything that was above 32 inches, 720p at 60 hertz was good enough. That's why my monitors, my monitors are only 60 hertz monitors because uh, I think my one actually is goes up to 75 hertz, but I don't care for that. I really don't mind 60 hertz. Maybe it's my eyes getting older and it doesn't matter to me that much, but some people that maybe have had a tablet shoved in their face or a phone shoved in their face since birth, maybe they notice differences, <laughs> I don't know. Evolution is a thing, right? So maybe uh, <laughs> you're evolving to see better I don't know better graphics or something 
with your cyborg eyes. I don't, I, I'm not going to go there. People might think I'm being racist or something. Anyways, so, yeah. If you want to Google things, don't come to my channel and say stuff like, oh, there's no way you're getting that much FPS on so-and-so device. The better the device, the more FPS you could potentially get. And that's one big thing to note too, is that I use this device a lot in my guides because this device right here, which is called the AYN Odin 2, is a gaming handheld. It's an Android gaming handheld. It has controls built inside of it. I like to use controller and touch at the same time, and it's the perfect dimensions for me. And I like to use this thing. It's only an LCD screen. It only goes up to 60 Hertz and it only is able to handle the 60 FPS really well with my mod pack. Again, this is 1.20.1, by the way. And uh, if you optimize your video settings very well, I might add, I've already, I was messing around with the video settings on this already earlier because I did another video about this thing. Let's go to 12 simulation, max shadow. I'm gonna turn that off. I already have this set to 60, but I'm gonna prove another point because a lot of people were talking about how did you get that much FPS on that device? And I'm like, well, because this device has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor in it. And it's a really good device as well. And it does its job at holding the performances because it has different performance tweaks. It also has a built-in fan in the back. There's a fan inside here that's like this big, about an inch and an inch. And it keeps the CPU and GPU from overheating, which is very, very vital. Now I'm using shaders right now. I am going to turn that off. And let's uh, let's see what, ha what happens when we do that. So here we go. Again, we're getting 300 plus FPS. And why? Well, you tell me in the comment section below. Maybe go to Google and comment what you found out about how the FPS calculations work with Java Minecraft on PC and even on Android. Now, don't use ChatGPT with Zealoth Launcher because there's a lot of actual false information with ChatGPT with Zealoth Launcher. I'm going to tell you that right now. Not saying it's all false, but there's a lot of false information because ChatGPT does not have enough information to actually base its sources off of when it tells you, hey, the best renderer for Zealoth Launcher as of today is this one. And it's like, well, that's not true whatsoever. Maybe ChatGPT should start doing its testing too, which I've done on this channel. And again, we're still just using the mobile glues render, no trickery, no magical trickery whatsoever. Now, when you use the better F3 menu, sometimes the F3 menu shows different FPS counts. And that's because there's more graphics on the screen. All these colorful texts on the screen and everything, that's more graphics showing up on the screen. And I think I'm using 100% resolution too on this device, and I'm still getting a stable 60 FPS. Have a nice day. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this sort of content and you wanna learn more about how Java Minecraft can be played on your Android device in 2026 or beyond and actually get the facts because I do a lot of testing with multiple different devices like these ones right here. And that's not all of them. I do tests with multiple different devices. And I also don't say what my device is unless it's relevant to the video, like how to set up mods, which is not really relevant to knowing what my device is. This is Red Magic 11 Pro. This is a Retroid Pocket 4 with only four gigabytes of RAM very low density chipset, GPU is Mali, and this is a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 AYN Odin 2. Google it. That's your best friend in 2026 as well. And you probably found this video by using Google or just YouTube. I don't know.